about three years ago, Mayor Walsh committed the city of Boston to Vision Zero, which is a worldwide movement to end traffic fatalities and serious injuries. For the city of Boston, our goal is to do that by the year 2030. The side guard issue actually arose as sort of a precursor to our interest in Vision Zero in looking at some of the crashes that were happening, especially for people who were riding bikes and walking in the city. A lot of them were in conflicts with trucks and looking into research and working with the Volpe Center, you know, we learned about side guards. Volpe is a federal R&D lab within the Department of Transportation whose mission is to advance transportation innovation for the public good. Truck guard is a, is a device, it's like a physical barrier on the side of a truck or other vehicle that rides high off the ground that in a collision with a pedestrian or cyclist is intended to help sweep that person out of the way instead of allowing that person to fall under the wheels and be crushed. So it is really a, a way to mitigate certain types of crashes involving the sides of trucks and pedestrians or cyclists. Bicycles and trucks do not go well together. The roads just, they're not meant for both. So this will keep a little bit of an area where they can't fall in between the wheels. We came up with an internal proposal for pursuing this path of research on side guards. That led to a pretty interesting set of findings that we presented externally at a professional society meeting where the city of Boston happened to be in attendance. The city of Boston in 2012 had a very bad year with respect to fatalities. The city was very interested in what they could do to address that challenge. That precipitated the discussion between Volpe and the city of Boston. It led to a partnership in 2013 where we helped provide some best practice research to them. They launched a pilot on 18 vehicles at the city of Boston with side guards as a means to protect bicyclists and pedestrians in collisions. We liked it. We wanted to demo it. Next thing you know, I'm putting it on my trucks. The accessibility is amazing. The whole design, it's simple, but it's very, very well thought out. And that's why we're using them. As a federal lab, we don't have a truck fleet. We don't have the means to, to deploy this. On the other hand, a city with its own truck fleet, with many contractors, many avenues to implement an onboard technology like a side guard is in position to deploy, but not necessarily in position to develop the practices and the specifications and know how to do that. I think it was a very complimentary set of skills that came together in the partnership. We have put it on our water trucks. We have put it on flatbeds, a few box trucks, but pretty much that's it. The trash trucks are the most popular because they are out on all the city streets and the contractors are all over. The ordinance states that anyone doing business with the city must have them. The cost of an installation on a truck runs between $800 and $1,000 per truck, but you compare that to the safety benefit that it offers. Uh, we've seen, unfortunately, a number of instances where had side guards been on trucks, there would have been a better outcome of, of a situation. So I, I would hope that, you know, as time goes on, that this becomes uh, a standard on trucks as opposed to, you know, something that's added after the fact. Volpe was an important partner and continues to be an important partner to us in thinking through what side guards should look like, what are the most effective tools, how do they fit on different sizes of trucks. You know, we could start with our own fleet here, but also applying it to all the contractors who do business with the city. There are a lot of other types of vehicles, and they have been invaluable in being able to provide that research support that is needed to enact best practices. 